I'm going to be doing or doing my story on why I went vegan and I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions about veganism along with just talking about what inspired me. This video is not trying to preach. I'm definitely not trying to do that. I've been wanting to film this video for the longest time and I'm finally doing it and yeah. Sorry I didn't post last week. I didn't write down my video ideas and when I don't do that, I don't film because I don't have video ideas. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it inspires you guys. And if you're here to listen, then welcome. I really just been wanting to film this video. Veganism is a very strong passion of mine and I definitely wanna do more vegan videos in the future. Let's just go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so we're gonna fast forward to sixth grade book. Not fast forward, we're gonna backtrack to sixth grade book. Oh my gosh, sixth grade of joy. Just look at these photos of her. Okay, my dog is barking, so if you hear that, just ignore it. I'm trying to film this video, and someone's knocking on her door, and I really don't want to answer the door. Sixth grade year was when I started getting interested in veganism. I saw videos of Freely the Banana Girl. If you look at her old content, her content's kind of different now. I don't really watch her anymore. When I did, she did videos about reacting to YouTubers What I Eat in the Days, and... I thought like the YouTubers what I eat in the days were pretty healthy until she said in the video and showed in the video videos of like what happens in the process of getting like eggs and meat and when she talked about how horrible these things are for your health I really it just like opened my eyes especially the fact that like it didn't really process to me that when you buy meat you're supporting a company that's slaughtering an innocent animal I just didn't because I always thought that like cows were growing on they grew up on the farm and it was all out and out but then I saw Freely's videos and it revealed the truth to me and it was pretty shocking I remember crying as a sixth grader um, in my bed watching these videos I just was like really shocked because I definitely am an animal lover I just it didn't feel right for me to say that I was an animal lover even though I was supporting companies that were killing animals it just didn't make sense to me so that's when I decided to go about in making changes fast forward to February of sixth grade this is usually when Lent usually starts and being in a Catholic school everyone's talking about what are you gonna give up for Lent what are you gonna give up for Lent and then the idea rose to me so I decided to go vegan for Lent Freely the Banana Girl definitely inspired me and when I brought it up to my parents, they really, honestly, I'm really lucky. My parents didn't really, they are pretty supportive. My dad definitely was, but my mom was a little iffy about it. I remember going to the pediatrician and this is when I was like really uneducated. She was talking because she was just concerned and she's say, saying how I'm not going to get enough protein and all this BS and I just was just uneducated and... I was pretty uneducated for a while. That's probably one of my biggest mistakes first going vegan because I didn't have any facts to back me up. And what would happen is I'd want to say all this stuff, but I just couldn't put it into words. And when people would attack me, like the pediatrician was not attacking me, but she was just saying like how I would have to eat like 60 pounds of broccoli in order to get enough iron or calcium and all this ridiculous stuff. I when like during this time I remember like specifically like when people would attack me for my choices I would just cry <laughs> because I just didn't know how to defend myself because I was not educated so if you're definitely planning on going vegan please educate yourself so you do not put yourself in a situation where you just cry because you can't really back yourself up and really I don't remember it very very specifically but the first week in going vegan I cheated I was over at a friend's house and she had chicken and then I ate it because there's nothing else to eat um I still can remember that it was just like there's definitely times like in the past year where I didn't know something I thought something was vegan in reality it wasn't but then I just learned not to buy it again once Lent was over I decided to stay vegan and I honestly am just so happy I went vegan because it's definitely a big part of who I am and something I'm very passionate about. Some of these documentaries I also watched which helped me educate myself because there's definitely a lot of facts and a lot of things that I feel like you need to definitely educate yourself on because you need to make sure you're hitting the right nutrient groups when you go vegan because I definitely 
um, if you could see in the before and after photos, I thought all vegan food, including junk food, was healthy, and I don't know why this got into my head, and I basically put on a little, like, I didn't put on weight, but I was not, like, I was, like, a little chubbier, and I learned towards the middle of, like, seventh grade that vegan junk food is not very good for you, and that's what I found out about Ellen Fisher. She's more plant-based and eats more fruits and vegetables and not a lot of processed foods, so that's when I discovered her, and I started to shape my diet into something a little less processed. Vegan junk food, I promise you, is very, very good, and it's obviously better than eating stuff that has animal products in it, but it's it's not the best for you because it's processed. Some things that definitely inspired me and what's helped me educate myself are the best speech you will ever hear. This is by Gary, I forget his last name. That speech I watched all the way through and it's definitely a very preachy speech but it definitely is a very impactful speech and it really opens up your mind. It makes you feel like you want to make a change like all the way halfway through the video. At least I wanted to definitely just go vegan. Earthlings is a really good video. It's kind of graphic but it definitely shows you the truth behind animal agriculture. Forks over knives, I haven't seen all of it but I've seen some of it. It's kind of closely related to earthlings. It opens your eyes to the plant-based diet. What the Health is definitely a really good documentary to watch. It definitely opened my eyes. I really love watching documentaries because I love educating myself. Cowspiracy is another one. I forget who directs Cowspiracy. He does some, I think he did. He's director of What the Health too. Cowspiracy, Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives, and What the Health are all on Netflix. I'll have all these linked down below. And the best speech you'll ever hear is on YouTube along with Earthlings. And then Happy Cow is definitely an app that saved me for a while once I learned how to veganize food at restaurants. Happy Cow costs a little money, but it's definitely worth it because it tracks all the vegan restaurants or places that have vegan options around you, which is really nice when you're on vacation. And People think that it's so hard going vegan. I promise you it is not. It's just a lot of research and you just have to look into it and any restaurant, I tell my friends all the time, I'm like, just name one restaurant and I can tell you a vegan option you can get there. And it's really easy to veganize anything. And once you start going vegan for a while, really get the hang of it. It's basically second nature for me. And being vegan is definitely a big step. Like I, I'm not, lying you on that but once you educate yourself and learn about it and like foods you can eat and how to hit all of those nutrient groups so that way when you go down the road it's just second nature for you it's better to just do the prep work in the beginning so that way you lay the foundation and you can do whatever you want i would just recommend just watching one of these documentaries and you never know it may inspire you to make a change. Um, some of my favorite vegan YouTubers are Ellen Fisher, Caitlin Shoemaker, Tess Bag, Hannah McKinley, Claire Michelle, James Aspie, Carly Taylor, Earthling Ed, and Mick the Vegan. Now I'm gonna answer questions because I feel like this will help narrow down some of the things I wanna talk about. Do you crave or miss any food you can't have? At first I definitely did, but after a while, those cravings started to go away. And for instance, when I crave sugar, it's when I'm not getting enough carbs and I'm not fully sustained with the food I ate. I definitely don't crave any meat or dairy. That just grosses me out now because I just think of meat as a dead corpse. And the cow milk is breast milk that is meant for, meant for a baby cow. And I just can't comprehend. But I just don't understand how a zebra gives its milk to its young. And then a giraffe gives its milk to its young. A goat gives its milk to its young. And then a cow gives its milk to its young in humans. I just don't understand how that happened. A little untold truth about the dairy farm industry vegetarian is cool like you're good it's cool you're not eating meat but there's so many whores that go into the dairy industry i could go on and on about it but basically here's a little brief summary of what happens so basically this is a little graphic and i'm not trying to like make you guys uncomfortable this is just honestly the truth the dairy farmer will artificially impregnate a cow so 
once it has its baby, it automatically starts lactating just like humans because we're mammals too. Right as the cow gives birth, it starts lactating and then it's young, it's ripped away from it and then it's put into the slaughterhouse. It scares me so much and I just don't want to be supporting an industry that does that to animals that are so innocent and deserve so much more than that. The next question is breastfeeding vegan. Yes, it is. It's not harming another animal. It's just like how a giraffe feeds its young with its breast milk. Next question, what are the best ways to transition into veganism? I would first analyze what foods you are eating that contain animal products and then do your research and find out what vegan alternatives are really good and then just swap those out and then I feel like that's probably the best way to do it. The next question is being vegan expensive. It is definitely not expensive by all means. Definitely the alternatives are a little more expensive. How do you not feel ill after eating meat and dairy? It is great for you and has so many vitamins. I feel like this has this is a very big stigma. Um, definitely it's just with society it has become the norm to eat a dead animal and and drink breast milk. I don't really want to clog my arteries with the cholesterol that's in meat and dairy. I just think it's disgusting. If you think about it, if after you eat a big cheeseburger and fries, you feel weighed down after that and you feel like you're gonna fall asleep while after you eat like something full with plant whole food, something that's not gonna weigh you down, you feel energized after eating it and you don't feel like you're gonna fall asleep. That's when I definitely felt a difference in my body. I felt more energized because I felt like all this meat and stuff I was putting in my body was weighing me down and my energy levels were so low. But once I cut out all of that and switched over to fruits and vegetables, I definitely felt 100% more energized. Do you judge people who aren't vegan? No, I do not. I, everyone, like, it really bothers me when people think I judge people. I definitely do not judge you if you are, like, eating meat in front of me. Like, I really, like, if you're doing it intentionally in front of me, then I'm going to care and I'm going to be like, um, what are you doing? But if you're just, like, if I'm out to dinner with friends and they order, like, a steak or something, I'm not going to be like, what the hell, like, not. But if you're going to rub it in your my face and be like, look, Brooke, it's chicken and you like eat it, like I'm gonna obviously say something. But yeah, that's basically the end of this video. I hope I got some sort of satisfaction with you guys with like my vegan story and hopefully I explained stuff. I could go on and on and on about veganism. Um, if you guys wanna see a more specific video about veganism, comment that down below. But I think I'm gonna do more videos about veganism because it's definitely a big passion of mine. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is Brooke Christman with two ends. Subscribe here if you are new and comment down below some video requests. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun feeling like someone